In this paper, we explore teacher students' experiences related to the gamification of an online learning platform. This study is part of an Erasmus Plus project called Adaptive. And in some previous studies conducted within the Adaptive project, we discovered some challenges related to higher education students' motivation in using online learning platforms. Firstly, there is a need to support students to put more focus on each task. And secondly, we should find ways to encourage them to use the e-learning platform regularly instead of doing most of the work during the final days and weeks of the course. And of course now, when virtually all higher education courses have been taken online, these things are especially current. How to make online learning more motivating and rewarding for students, and how to battle online learning fatigue. In our view, personalization is one key aspect in providing motivating learning experiences. In this study, conducted last autumn, before the COVID situation, we ran a pilot course with one specific group, teacher students. We wanted to understand their characteristics as a user group and explore how game elements and different types of tasks might motivate them. We implemented a pilot in an ICT course intended for first-year teacher students who have just started their university studies. The ICT course was a suitable context because the contents were fairly easy to break down into themes and topics that provided the structure for gamification. The platform we used was Moodle, and during the first half of the course it was not gamified. Halfway through the course, some game elements were in introduced. We didn't want it to be only about points and badges, so we provided a narrative about entering a school of digital wizards. The students had wizard avatars that progressed from one level to the next whenever they completed a compulsory task. The avatar reflected their real-life progress in a sense that when the avatar was complete and graduated the school of wizards, the students had also completed all necessary tasks required for passing the ICT course. In addition, we provided different topic-specific badges for non-compulsory extra tasks. This way we wanted to encourage the students to practice more than just the minimum. We explored the students' user types with the Hexit scale, and as you can see in the table, socializer and philanthropist were the most commonly occurring user types. There is a gap of more than two points before the third one, the free spirit. Socializer and philanthropist reflect people orientation, and free spirit, on the other hand, implies orientation towards creativity and exploration. And in fact, creative elements and opportunities to explore were seen as motivating aspects of the course tasks. Game elements as such were not mentioned much. The focus was on the tasks and what kinds of challenges they offered. The students' overall stance regarding studying on an online platform was somewhat higher at the end of the course than before the course. This was the first semester of university studies for most of the students, so it seems that the pilot was successful in giving them a positive experience from using online learning platforms. As mentioned on the previous slide, it seemed that meaningful and creative tasks played an important role in this experience. But we can see that gamification also contributed to it, as the students felt that they preferred the gamified version to some extent over the non-gamified one. The avatar seemed to be the most motivating game element. To sum up, we found that our user group has a strong focus on people-oriented user types. And in light of some previous studies, this finding makes sense, considering that our participants were university students and future teachers, and most of them were also women. Gamification might seem intimidating to an instructor who has no previous experience from doing it and whose time resources are limited, but it doesn't have to be a very time-consuming effort. When you know the user group, you have an idea what kinds of aspects to focus on. For example, when we plan future courses for teacher students, we know that we should fo focus on opportunities for collaboration, develop tasks that offer creative possibilities, and perhaps provide some content-related narrative elements that help visualize the students' progress. <laughs>